Hi everyone, this is uh, the not tarot reading. Okay, <laughs> I still don't know how to say it, but all this astrology talk will be at Cosmictology, link down there. That's where we're moving forward with 2019. So more talks like this. For this topic, we are gonna be. I'm gonna try to be serious because you guys know I'm very very happy person. Okay. <laughs> I need to have a downer. Okay. Um, we're gonna be looking for your partner. <laughs> now I'm laughing because your partner is not with me, so don't look for the partner with me. Okay. <laughs> if you're looking for your partner, okay, we're gonna be. Um, this is. Uh, this might be helpful for you. Okay. But we, also before we start, uh, this is Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western um, tropical ast astrology. Okay. So I follow a different school, totally different from um, from the other side. Okay. So now um, let's uh, let's begin first as far as like looking for your uh, partner. Be let's begin to the um, let's begin with the guys. Let's begin the masculine energy. Okay. If you are the masculine energy you will be looking for where is Venus in your chart. Okay. So that's the first thing. If you are a feminine energy, look for Jupiter or Mars. Jupiter or Mars. Okay, because Mars, um, Mars is the masculine and Jupiter is the husband. So it's a good combination if you put two and two together. Um... um it's more how do you say this it's more descriptive of the person but jupiter is the husband so venus and jupiter those are the yin yang for um yin yang for me for the for the partners and mars basically is in between i'm kidding <laughs> i'm gonna try to be serious because i'm very happy okay <laughs> when you guys see me it's like i'm like this it's because i'm trying to be serious so um as a as a guy first okay so let's look first um with the guys. So, Venusian. So, meaning the feminine. When you look at your chart, as we're looking for the partner, okay, we're gonna look first, where is your seventh house? Okay. So, for example, you're an Aries rising, seventh house is Libra. Okay. Taurus rising, you're gonna have Scorpio as your seventh house. Gemini rising, you will have a Sag. Um, Cancer, you will have a Capricorn. Leo, you will have Aquarius. Virgo, Pisces. Libra, um, Aquarius, um, yeah, uh, Libra, uh, yeah, Libra, uh, uh, Libra, Pis uh, Virgo, Pisces, sorry, and Libra, Aries. Oh, sorry, I went around already. Oh, yeah. I can't understand my own writing. Okay, so those are the the houses. So, but inverted, of course. If you're a Scorpio, then it's a Taurus. If you're a Taurus, then it's a Scorpio. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that there are gonna be a Scorpio. It doesn't mean that you know that it's just a definitive um how do you call this um it would show more of how they are who they are but it doesn't mean that's gonna be their zodiac okay that's a total different topic we're just identifying first um um the partnership where is the partnership in the in the chart so for example let's just do it as an aries rising and then you have seventh house libra okay and then of course, um, let's just put Venus there right away, okay? For the ma for the masculine energy. So as a guy, you're a guy, and then you have um, Aries rising, and then you're gonna have Venus in Libra. So one, okay, this person, if, okay, if they are Venus Libra rising, chances are they're very very gorgeous right away, okay? Right away, they're very Venusian, okay? Probably likes luxury, okay? Or someone that you you is very pleasing very um pleasing to the eye okay but that's we're just looking at it in that perspective of course but of course venus will go in different places it you could be an aries with aries rising in venus in first house okay so you will have to look first okay what's your rising sign where the seventh house is okay where the seventh house so identify that and where is venus so, for example, they're going to have a Venus in Capricorn, okay? So, Aries rising, of course, seventh house partnership, uh, Libra, and then you have Venus in Capricorn. So, for the masculine energy, you can see there that this person, 
okay chances are more than likely they um they are they like to how to say this they like to be very independent okay they like to be known for what they do okay they probably would always want also to have a family they're very family oriented venus and capricorn they really have a strong attachment from what i'm seeing here to have okay um you know like uh uh what do you call this kids okay if it's a venus in um um, Capricorn, and this is a person also. Venus and Capricorn, they will do everything and anything. Okay, I'm not gonna go there, but Venus and Capricorn, um, I'm not gonna go if it's exalted and stuff like that. But they will do everything and anything to be in partnership that ha that will involve kids. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. If it's a Venus in Capricorn, they would really have a strong attachment. Like I need, I want to have kids. Okay, because they can have a lot of things in their life, but except um, kids. From what I'm seeing here, they want to have a lovely home also. Very, very lovely home. When I say lovely, warm, warm home. Not, It's not about the whole uh, big house, but they want a nice, comfy um, living. Okay, these are, this is how I'm looking for, for, a, for a masculine energy. Okay, now we look at it now from the perspective of the feminine. Okay, so if you're, if you're a, if you're a feminine energy, okay, and you're looking for your husband, okay, okay, your spouse, if you're a Taurus rising, for example, Taurus rising, meaning 12, uh, seventh house, Scorpio, okay, um, if, for example, they're Jupiter and Scorpio, okay, so it would exhibit a lot of, um, this person, um, chances are, if, um, if they're, uh, Jupiter in, uh, Scorpio seventh house, I feel like they want, um, they would treat you different than anyone else because this person will find you um, out of extraordinary. You, This person will find you like a hidden gem, okay, among all the rest, you know. Like this person will find you as something that is very precious if, if it's a Jupiter and Scorpio, okay. Um, but let's move it to some, somewhere else because I'm just doing it from your 1-7. So, for example, you have Taurus rising, of course, 7th house, Scorpio. And then let's move um, Jupiter to Virgo, okay? So, we're going to move Jupiter in Virgo. So, for the feminine energy, you will see here the chances are you, the person that you're going to be meeting is someone who is a healer, okay? Someone who is also, whose, whose job is about... Um, can be also, from what I'm seeing, sensing here, um, can be a doctor, but m more than likely someone who is, because um, this person would would be very good at dissecting. Okay, so can be like a a surgeon, from what I'm seeing, sensing here. But we're just identifying because sixth house, you know, it's a natural sixth house is health, but also if you're a Taurus rising one. To, this is, you know, it's like you're, you could be dating them also with this person having some sort of illness, okay? So health is there, okay? Not a whole absolute definitive, but you could be meeting this person in a health facility. You could meet this person with a doctor, okay? Or they're a doctor or they're a nurse, okay? But they, there was something about health that was being dis, uh, discussed. And it's about also losing health, okay? Not that they're dying, but there's an energy of um, being, uh, of losing Okay, like they're they're battling something. When you meet the okay, I understand that now. When you meet this person, they're battling something with regards to their um, health, also. Okay, as far as the feminine energy. Now, when we look at the Mars, okay, wherever your Mars is sitting, it's just for me, it's just the extra. So just to guarantee, basically, you already know one thing, okay, but you get it one more, okay, so that um, one more um, sign, the Mars meaning, one more planet, so that you you kind of um, define it more, okay. So that's how, that's how I, for me, that's how I would look at the partnership. First, okay, identify your rising sign. Look at the house of partnership, okay, and then look for Venus, okay, where it's sitting at. Okay, and then from that point to those three points that we have identified, that's the indicator, okay, of where of uh, of not where but of who can be your partner, um, your partner will be, okay, or how they will show how they dispose their their energy. So again, okay, you look at your seventh house, and that seventh house, okay, would define that person, 
it doesn't mean that's their zodiac but it's gonna be in that um in that mix and then look for your jupiter look for your venus and then you will you will get this um you will get this conclusion of who your um partner is in in your chart okay i hope um this was helpful for you guys uh, thank you very much guys for watching make sure you follow the link down there um for cosmetology where we will be discussing more of the astrology part um thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you guys at cosmetology